How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to LT3D. Now, today is the day. It is November 15th, and that means that Flashforge has just released their newest printer, the 80 or Adventurer 5X. So uh, I can see right now on their website that they have a nice banner, faster multicolor printing. Get your hands on the new 80 5X starting from just $399 USD. So uh, let's dive in and have a look at the new features of this printer. Oh, wait a minute, 449. Oh, okay. So by the looks of it, they've got from local, which will take 60 days to get to you. Uh, it'll be 399 US, which I'm assuming is gonna be the uh, default recommended retail price, which is also the uh, the rumored retail price that I heard early. So uh, that's fantastic. Uh, but then they also have a from China ship in 20 days. So essentially, if you want it quicker and you want to get it early, it's essentially an extra $150, which I don't know. I don't know how many people are going to take this option. I think maybe some people might if they're really desperate, but I mean, for an extra 150, is it worth it? I mean, 40 days earlier, what is it? Like 15th, so essentially next year or this year. Okay, if it's for Christmas, makes sense. Never mind, I, take, I retract that statement. Anyway, um, let's dive into the features. And uh, then I'll have a look at the AU pricing. I don't know the conversion off the top of my head. I'm hoping this is a new video. No, same video. Oh, but one thing I did notice, they didn't do what I was wanting them to do, which is put this nice little icon on the printer. I know the renders didn't have it, but it would have been just a nice little thing to have on the, uh, have on the printer itself. Anyway. Let's have a look. So three slides here. Faster completion time for every print. A compact multicolor printing module that shortens material processing and saves time on every color switch. So obviously they got a nice picture here with some cool uh, multicolor 3D prints and they have this little ladybug which is covered in the IFS. So I'm assuming they may have some models available for you to print or put on your IFS. And if not, the community gets to have some fun in creating some. So I feel like we're gonna see some really cool and unique uh, IFS covers or I don't know what you call it. I'd, I'd, I'd assume covers for them. So that, that's kind of cool. Nice little customization for the uh, for the 5X. Multicolor TPU printing. From consumer goods to industrial products, multicolor TPU printing supports a wide range of applications such as toys, models, and tool handles. Now, this is definitely one of the big selling points for many people looking at getting this printer uh, because realistically, there hasn't been a printer that has allowed you to do multicolor in this fast core XY sort of world. Like Bamboo Lab, pretty much all the TPUs, you had to go off the back of the spool holder. You couldn't use the AMS. They weren't AMS compatible. And only what, like two or three days ago, did Bamboo Lab finally release a TPU for AMS. Uh, but it's not 95A, it's 86D. So it'll be interesting to see whether the 5M can do 95A and other sort of um, hardness, stiffness, not sure the exact terminology for it, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what the limit is. And maybe I might have to get some, you know, some TPUs and cop this printer and uh, and test it out because I'm def I've am i already ordered some of the TPU for AMS to try it on my A1 and my um, X1 Carbon. So if I do buy one of these, because the price point looks pretty good, um, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll test it out for you guys. Anyway, on the next slide, Customized with IFS. So yes, it is called the IFS. As easy as changing a phone case, add a DIY IFS casing. So it is a case, okay. To your ADX. I'm assuming that's meant to be 85X and make it truly yours. Yeah, nah, that's really cool. I really like it. I think it'll it'll appeal to a lot of younger people as well. And I can see this being like potentially used in like well popular in education. Obviously it's open, so whether education like educators are Happy for that to be the case. Uh, not really sure. Not really my specialty. <laughs> Light the world with multicolor. Equipped with smart multicolor filament module. IFS. Easy to use right away. Smart multicolor. See, they haven't, they still haven't said what the IFS stands for. I want to know what the IFS stands for. Hopefully it, uh, it says down here. Easy to use, as simple as using a camera. The 85X takes the experience of simple operation to the next level. Unbox and assemble in three easy steps to put the screen, filament holder, and multicolor printing module. No is done. 
Tell you what, it does look very easy to set up. Like very easy to set up the uh, the IFS and everything. So that's pretty cool. Automatic filament switching when printing a single color model. Once one spool is used up, it automatically switches to the next spool. Print with peace of mind. Yeah, that's awesome. Filament run out and then uh, filament. Uh, I don't know the exact word. I know there's a, a word for it, but it's essentially, you know, I guess automatic filament switching <laughs> is the word. Uh, but that is pretty cool. Power outage recovery, 99% resume print rate, success rate. After power restoration, printing resumes from the last checkpoint, ensuring a higher rate print success. Core exploded. Okay, well, I'm not going to read that. It's just, a, I guess, a disclaimer. Quick release nozzle. This is what I'm interested in. The nozzle design has been adjusted from the 5M series, which we already knew from the image that I leaked earlier. Uh, ensuring performance while reducing costs by 30%. So we're getting not only a new and improved hot end or nozzle, we're also getting a cheaper nozzle as well. Let's see if this matches the uh, the image. I don't know why this is buffering like crazy, but um, if I open a new tab. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So it's exactly pretty much identical. Oh, not oh, a minute. Is that a magnet? Sorry. Yeah, right. Oh, so it's a really thin nozzle. Okay, so that's completely different than what I initially thought. I thought it was going to be similar to the to the Bamboo Lab A1 and the A1 Mini and so forth. But this is completely different. This just looks like a really long, thin nozzle similar to what they have on like the Creator 3 and Creator 3 Pro. Actually, no, wait, the Creator 3 Pro had the normal small nozzles, but similar to the Creator 3, and the heat sink is magnetic around it. That's kind of cool. Interesting, but that should make removing it very, very easy as well. Cool, cool. That's very cool. I really want to see this in person, like really badly. It looks really cool. Rapid printing, no more long waits. Max speed is 600 millimeters per second. Already knew that. Acceleration, 20,000 millimeters per second squared. That's, I'm pretty sure the exact same as the 5M series. I'd love to know what this other printer is, by the way. <laughs> I have a theory, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> Multicolor PLA, yep, cool. Multicolor PTG. Silk. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Precision, you can trust quality. You can see consistent printing performance. Classic Corex white structure of the 5M effectively reduces print vibration deviations, ensuring consistent detail and continuously printed identical models. Cool, cool, cool. True multicolor printing, no color bleeding. Corex white structure ensures precise movement positioning, and each time the material is switched, the nozzle is cleaned, allowing for clean edges without color mixing. Yep, cool. So it has a little wiper at the back before the purge shoot as well. Pretty results. What you see is what you get. Smooth surface transition, sharp peak formation, clean overhang transitions, minimal tolerance. To give you more filament compatibility and greater freedom, 85X supports PLA, PLA Pro, High Speed PLA, PLA Matte, PLA Silk, TPU, PTG, PTG Pro, High Speed PTG, ASA, and open to third party brands. ASA is interesting, and I'm surprised I don't have ABS, but I have ASA. But I mean, we I did confirm on the 5M, you can easily print ABS and ASA by simply, and I do not suggest this if you're a 5M owner, by simply putting a towel over the machine, you can print it. So um, that's pretty cool. Compact design, space savings force. Four spools of filament arranged side by side, effectively reducing storage space and allowing for more flexible placement. A similar price printer. Hmm, I wonder what printer this could be. <laughs> yeah, so I, I do kind of like this, to be honest. On the side, I mean, the biggest sort of issue most people have had these days with 3D printers is that everyone's putting spool holders still on the back. So it's cool to see that they did listen and put it on the side. As much as I like this side design, still think it would have been cool to have a similar enclosed multicolor system. And the big thing that I don't think many people have questioned yet is they're marketing this as a multicolor TPU 3D printer. TPU needs to be dried out. And you should probably <laughs> have it in a filament dryer when you're printing it or in an enclosed AMS-like thing. So 
does that mean that maybe they are releasing a filament dryer maybe that um image that they had with the the um cloths over both the 5x and that other unit maybe this confirms that they are working on a filament dryer and it may not be an ams but a filament dryer i don't know i'm just putting things together here and it kind of looks like it may be going in that direction because i mean they've got their multi-material system here i i doubt at this point that they're working on an ams or similar so i'd say it's a pretty safe bet that that other unit is going to be a filament dryer of sorts i don't know they've just got a comparison which doesn't even have the 5x on it which is a little bit interesting so anyway that's sort of the first look at the adventure 5x which is exactly like the renders we already saw looks pretty cool the new nozzle i'm i'm very interested in it looks really cool with the magnetic design whether that sort of leads to potential you know it falling out or moving while it's printing who knows hopefully someone tests that or if i get my hands on one i will um but the last thing i'm going to check is the australian dollar i need to know how much i would be spending <laughs> so 5.99 or 6.49 Oh yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it cheaper in Australia to get from local than it is from China? And I could get it quicker in Australia. Hold on a minute. So maybe I will purchase this. If it's cheaper to get it in 20 days than it is in 60 days, I'll get it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think $5.99 is an outrageous price. I, I don't remember exactly what the 5M was when it launched, but I think the 5M was similar when it launched, was it not? Yeah, $5.59. And this is $5.99. So... Yeah, what, an extra 40 bucks? I don't think it's outrageous, to be honest. But that does beg the question, will they bother making this backwards compatible? Probably not. Would I love to see it? Yes, 100%. Do I think the community will find a way to retrofit this head and that unit onto it? Potentially. <laughs> anyway, um... That's pretty much it for the video. That's the first look at the Adventure 5X. Um, hopefully, I can uh, I can get my hands on one. I would love to get my hands on one, have a look at it, do a comparison between the 5M and the 5X, go over the TPU printing and so forth. So uh, let me know if you want me to get one and make some content on it. Let me know if you think it's worth getting one. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. And as always, happy printing.